Hi viewers of Pharmacy D by Asim. Today's video is going to be about a drug which is Ondan Citrone and it is an antihematic. But before I proceed towards what Ondan Citrone is, let me give you a brief description of what antihematics are. So antihematics are a group of medications that are used to treat nausea and vomiting. These include Ondan Citrone, Metclopramide, Apripitant, Prochlorperazine and Promethazine as well as antihistamines like diphenhydramine and cannabinoids such as dronabinol. Now let us start with Ondan Citrone in detail which can be administered orally, intravenously and intramuscularly. Once administered, Ondan Citrone acts as a 5-HT3 receptor antagonist peripherally by decreasing vagal nerve stimulation but it is also a very powerful central acting antimatic blocking an area in the brain called the chemoreceptor trigger zone. Ondan citrone is primarily used to control nausea and vomiting after surgical anesthesia as well as in individuals undergoing chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Alright, now moving on to side effects. Ondan citrone can cause headaches and gastrointestinal disturbances like constipation and can prolong the QT interval leading to arrhythmias. A life-threatening side effect of Ondan citrone is serotonin syndrome, which is caused by serotonin accumulation that results in overstimulation of the nervous system. This syndrome is characterized by skin flushing, muscle rigidity, hyperthermia, agitation, seizure, and coma. It can occur in clients treated with a combination of Ondan citrone and other medications that increase serotonin levels such as antidepressants. As far as contraindications go, Ondan citrone should be avoided in clients with risk factors for QT prolongation or in combination with other medications that increase serotonin levels and should be used with caution in clients with electrolyte abnormalities. Viewers, now we are moving towards the end of this video in which we are going to discuss the drug interactions of Ondan Citrone. So, Ondan Citrone is usually safe to take but it does interact with some medication. These include medications that affect serotonin levels in the brain and those that cause QT prolongation. These drugs include antidepressants such as SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, TCA, tricyclic antidepressants, and tramadol as they increase the risk of serotonin syndrome. Some antibiotics such as lenazolid can also lead to this syndrome if used concurrently. When used with fluoroquinolones and antiarrhythmic drugs, they can lead to QT prolongation so avoid this combination as well. That's all for today. Hope you like this video. Keep sharing and keep supporting for more. Thanks.